Hello, hello, happy long weekend, happy Sunday. I hope that if you are lucky enough to get an extra long weekend and have tomorrow off and Tuesday off, you're enjoying it. Maybe you've gone away, maybe you're doing something fun, I don't know. If you have work tomorrow, if you work today, if you're still working on the public holiday, and I'm sure most of you are considering only Victoria is getting it, I hope that you get that bag, I hope that you earn that cash, and I hope that it is still as fun and enjoyable for you at the same time. I wanted to make a mukbang today, however, just with the schedule and the way my week worked this week, I'm gonna do a monthly favorite and then we're gonna do a mukbang next week because KFC released a tower burger and I really, really wanna try it. I've never tried it. Apparently it was on the secret menu. They've got it back now for a limited time and I thought overdue for some KFC. I haven't had KFC in a hot, hot minute. But today I'm gonna to walk you through things I'm loving, things I'm not, things I'm obsessed with, things I won't be repurchasing. You should already know the drill. I'm starting off with incense today, which I have been using these and you would see them. I've been using these for years and years and years. I'll let you take a screenshot. And apologies, I don't have my mic on today. So if you can hear stuff from behind the window, please forgive me. These are my favorite. I've gotten some of them online from different websites, but I believe most of them are available on Amazon and I will pop them in my Amazon storefront. I personally love these scents and I love these as a, not an alternative to candles, but just to lift the vibe, lift the mood, lift the energy. I usually light them in the mornings or if I'm having a shower and I like to pop them somewhere nearby a window. Bonus points if you happen to have like a window that on the outside of your house, you have somewhere to put the incense because if you leave the window open, the smell can like draft through the house and it's just really beautiful. If you like aromatherapy, if you like candles, if you like nice smelling things, get onto some incense. They're 10 out of 10. I'm gonna be moving on to hair now and I wanted to start with incense just because I do, I have really been focused on my environment and like making sure I feel good and the little things and I think incense is one of those ways that you can do that but the only product I'm showing you for hair is the color wow mousse it's the extra large bombshell volumizer you can buy this in a smaller size but I've been on my hair journey I air wrapped my hair this morning I haven't brushed it so if I look crazy mind your business but I've tried so many different products from different heat protectors to different setting sprays to different holding sprays and while I like everything I've tried, this is the only one I'm gonna say right now, I would be happy to like recommend and like encourage anyone to like try it if you are after like a mousse that doesn't make your hair crunchy and that doesn't make your hair sit. <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for? Like just makes your hair hard. This is enough hold that you can hold a curl for a few hours or for your event. And then it kind of holds a light wave in the days after. So very impressed with this. And if you're thinking my hair looks crunchy now, it's not from this, it's from the hairspray because I do hairspray it after I use this. And if you're interested in how I got this hair, go watch the video I think I posted a couple weeks back. There's like my hair care air wrap process tutorial in that video. We're now gonna move on to skincare. I'm gonna do body and then like face. So you would have seen in the vlogs, I've also been trying to up level like my body care, my shower routine. And part of that was a moisturizer. So I did invest in the soy milk and honey whipped body butter by Kiehl's. It's the creme de corpse. It comes in this tub. And this is a beautiful, beautiful product. I think I love this even more than like a Sol de Janeiro or a Bum Bum Cream or like any other kind of whipped body butter. What I dislike, and this is not enough that I would not repurchase it, but to get it out, you really have to just go in like with the back of your knuckle, scoop it out and then apply it because if you dip it in and you happen to have nails, all the product gets stuck under your nails and I just really don't like that feeling. I don't have a lot of tolerance for it. So that's a little bit annoying. What I will also say is the price point is really high. So I think I wanna try and find like a dupe that competes with this that I could also recommend to you guys. What I will say, I haven't used a lot. Like you can see that there's not a lot missing, maybe like 10, 20%. I save this for like special occasions. If we're going out on date night or if my boyfriend's sleeping over or if I'm sleeping at his, like when I want my skin to be really soft and smell delicious and just be yum. That's what I save it for. Every other day, like normal day to day, I just pop on like my everyday moisturizer, my Vaseline. 
which you can just buy from Chemist Warehouse or Priceline, which is a lot more affordable. But yes, you will hopefully in the future get like a dupe body care like routine from me because this one was a little pricey. I did also go into Kiehl's when I was at Chadston in the vlog and I saw they had this in the pump bottle and I was gonna buy it because I thought, oh, the pump bottle would be easier for me to use. That's what my current body moisturizer is in. And the girl there said, no, that's a different product. That is the moisturizer version of this. So don't go buy that moisturizer version because you think it's got a better pump. It's a different product entirely. It's unscented and not as, I'm gonna say, hydrating and buttery and like melts into your skin like this. This is a beautiful, beautiful product. And I will try and find a similar dupe at a lower price point. Still on skincare, body care, but we're in the shower now. I probably should have done these first. So we have Posh Chocolate Body Wash that is from Lush. And then I've got Almond Shower Oil from L'Occitane. This is just a mini version. You would have seen me unbox this in a vlog a few weeks back. I've got the full size version in my shower. Same as this, I've already restocked full size version currently in my shower. I love these products. I have never used a shower oil before this. And I'm so glad I was influenced because I don't know, I didn't really know that you could, that they existed. I didn't really know that you could use it. Like I've been living under a rock, but what I would do is like body wash first. So this or the other one that I've got from Lush, which I think is, is it salted caramel? No, it's like a date. Wait, let me check. Sticky dates. <laughs> I knew it was some kind of caramelly date-ish kind of scent, but I mix that and the posh chocolate together on my scrubber give myself a good lather, rinse it off, and then I go in and I do the same thing. This comes out as an oil, but then it lathers up in the shower. And when you rinse it off, your skin already feels moisturized. Do you know how sometimes with certain body washes, you can wash yourself and then it makes your skin feel really tight and dry. And then as soon as you get out of the shower, you're like dying to put on body moisturizer. That doesn't happen with the Lush products. But if you follow up with a shower oil, your skin will thank you. You'll get so many compliments as well on how nice you smell, on how soft your skin feels, and you will feel so luxurious doing that in the shower. And it's just up-leveled my shower game. So love these, have already repurchased, will probably keep them as part of my routine. Old favorite, she lives to see another day. It's the Tatcha Rice Wash. And can I say for the first time in a long time, I didn't break the lid. I must be very aggressive because it's hanging on by a thread. This is my mental health hanging on by a thread. <laughs> but, oh, is there some in there? <gasps> there is, okay. Well, I squeezed the crap out of her. I even unscrewed it. Don't know how that happened. Maybe the air pressure, but I just can't fault her. For scrubbing off makeup, I love this. This is what I would do, especially on a makeup day. I usually do an oil cleanser or some kind of balm wash off with this. If I've got no makeup on, I'm using a different cleanser. It's the Alpha H1, which I've showed you guys in a separate video too. This is honestly the 10th, 15th, 20th time I've re-bought this. Like she's, she's been around for a long time. The only thing that ever pissed me off was the packaging and how the lid breaks off. Don't know why that happens. We're still on skincare, this time the underarm skincare, but I've got my deodorant. It's the Dove Apple and White Tea. I love her. She has been around for a long time. I'm a gym gal. I don't wanna be stinky. I don't wanna be sweaty. This does the trick. Lasts throughout your workouts, keep you feeling fresh all day, and smells delicious. This is my favorite scent. I've also used the great one with the green lid. I've got that one in my car. I can't remember what scent that is, but this would be my first choice. If this is sold out, I get the green one. I have quite a few skincare products today. These are the second last items. We've got the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray, and then I have the Kosas Plump and Juicy Spray on Serum. I'm popping these two in together because I got them both at PR, probably within like a week or two of each other. I got the Kosas one first, and I'm putting them together because they're both meant to be used after you've cleansed your skin in the AM and the PM, kind of in place of like a toner, I guess. And the Tower 28 one is more focused on like soothing, taking away redness. It's kind of marketed as like a rescue spray. The Kosas one is more marketed as like a plumping, hydrating, like juicy kind of spray. So I think they have different intentions. They both feel the same when I apply them on my face, like they're not tacky, it's actually like a nice spritz and feels really good. I do lean towards this one more and the only reason that I lean towards this one more is I feel like it is 
more neutral and like not less invasive but it just feels nicer in the sense that it's not heavily scented this one has rose water in it and i really don't like the smell of rose water i don't know what it is it just makes me feel a bit ugh. and then i feel like i'm just putting almost like perfume on my face so i haven't really been gravitating towards this one i will see if one of my besties want it or maybe my mum. <laughs> they might like that smell but i've really been loving this i had never used any tower 28 products until Mecca sent me some PR and I've actually got another product from them which I'll show you in a second that I've been loving but this I can get around. Our last skin item is the Dennis Gross Spectralight which is my LED face mask which has a red light, a blue light and then a red and blue light. I only use the red light in this and I only bought this because I had a rhinoplasty. A lot of people have been asking me, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Should I buy it? If you have had any kind of facial plastic surgery, I would say absolutely because it will take away your swelling and it will promote healing in your skin and speed up that process. Yes. However, if you are somebody who has irritated skin, inflamed skin, red skin, uneven skin tone, blemishes, lots of fine lines and wrinkles, you may also see a benefit in this. My skin was not bad before I had my rhinoplasty. My skin wasn't even that bad with the rhinoplasty. It has been very, very dry, but it was very, very swollen. And that's the main reason I got it. You would have also seen, I was going in clinic to have professional LEDs done at Skin Avenue, who I love and I still keep going back there. Not as frequently anymore. I probably am gonna just do it like once a fortnight or once a month, but I go there for my injectables too. It was just, I was going there so much, spending quite a bit of money on the LED and I thought I may as well just buy one at home. Yes, it's not clinic grade, but you can use it every day. It's safe enough for everyday use. It's three minutes. And as long as you are being consistent, you will see results. And so I was showing myself that I was consistent in going to Skin Avenue and I knew, girl math, if I bought this and I used it every single day, I'd get the cost per wear down and I'd actually end up saving money rather than going and doing it in clinic as often as I was. So I can't fault this. I really like it. I use it, as I said, quite frequently. I also put it on my boyfriend and he likes it as well. So we're getting our cost per wear out of it and I'm really happy and I'm glad I chose this one. So I will link Joanna's video below. She did a review on kind of all the options out there. I was deciding between this and the Omnilux mask as well. I ended up going for this because it was stronger and I really wanted to just get rid of the situation that was happening here. But I'm happy with this. And I think it has been healing quicker thanks to the LED, both at Skin Avenue and at home. We're nearly at the end of the video, you guys. We're up to makeup now. Before I go through all three of these products, just know that these were also PR. So along with the skin sprays, they were PR too. Very kindly gifted, all from Mecca and Rare Beauty. I'm so grateful because I love those brands so much. But I wanted to just obviously disclose that. Everything else purchased by me. Typically, these videos are made for that, like stuff that I've bought or stuff that I've been sent so I can give you my honest review and honest feedback. But when I got that spray from Tower 28, it came in a pack and I got a lip jelly, like a lip gloss as well. This is the shade Pistachio and it's called Lip Jelly Shine On by Tower 28. And this is so, so beautiful. Look at that. Oh wait, you can't really see. I've got it on right now. Do you like my lips right now? That is this lip jelly. And it's not sticky. Like, you know how some gloss, like you pop it on and then your lips just get stuck together and it feels really yuck. This feels beautiful on my lips. And I've been using this now in place of, what was I using before the lip oil? Because I felt like that was quite dark and really suited for winter. As we're getting into spring, as we're getting into summer, I want something a little bit brighter, a little bit softer, a little bit more pinky on my lips, which this is perfect. One empty, which wasn't PR, this was bought by me. The Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. You would have seen me run out of that a few weeks back. I didn't repurchase it only because I was very lucky to find in my PR, I had a brow pencil from Rare Beauty, which was like the exact perfect match. A little bit warmer than this one. This is the shade medium brown and this is the shade deep brown. So a little bit darker and warmer on this one. This is also a crayon, whereas this one was a pencil but I've got this on my brows today. And with a gentle hand and brushing out, you can see how nicely that looks. 
and that sits in my brows. Lasts all day, doesn't budge, comes off easily, can't fault it. I will use this to the end and then I'll just decide which one I rebuy when the time comes. And then we have the Rare Beauty Pressed Finishing Powder. This is the shade Porcelain. I actually got this in PR this week and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it out instead of using my translucent powder to set my makeup. So I've been setting my makeup with this. It is pressed. Can we see that? Can the camera focus? There we go. It is pressed. I've already put my sponge into it and I've got it on today. So you can see I've put it under my eye. I've set all here, I've set my forehead. It does have, I'm gonna say more coverage than obviously translucent setting powder. And I just really like the finish it gives. So that's sticking around. I'm gonna use it daily and I also pop it in my bag. So if I need to like touch up a little bit later on in the day, I can. This would be really good for my recording days too because I get so like sweaty under that light and my makeup just, I feel like it just grows a bit weird after I've been talking for a little while. So should be coming with me on Monday to the studio and I love this. But that is a wrap, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. As I said at the start, I'll be back next week. I'll be back firstly with a vlog tomorrow and then with a mukbang next weekend. I love you guys. Have a great long weekend if you're lucky enough to get it. Have a great week ahead. If not, everyone just have a good time, okay? Look after yourselves, look after each other and I'll see you real soon. Bye.